everybody it's Anne from Annalise Creates, Annalise Creations. I've been a little bit under the weather. Uh, I think it's hard to tell with fibromyalgia if it's a cold or the flu or allergies because we fibromyalgia sufferers tend to be achy and pain in pain all the time. Our pain levels just vary. <laughs> And some of us are worse than others. Um, everyone's um, journey is different with this horrific illness. And I'm saying horrific because I wouldn't wish this upon my worst enemy. There are so many people that suffer from chronic pain, whether it's from other illnesses other than fibromyalgia or arthritis or rheumatoid arthritis. There's a lot of sufferers out there. Kelly Donovan actually did a really good video on what she's suffering from and how everybody's journey is different. So don't judge a book by its cover because you never know what's on the inside. Seriously. So on a lighter note, um, I'm on to um, my Odd Girl Part 2. Um, I'm doing the grunge background. I, you, in my previous video, if you don't re um, remember, like my brain never remembers <laughs> these days, um, and I lose words all the time. Okay, um, I used my drop papers and I glued it onto the back of, uh, onto some watercolor paper. Actually, I used matte medium to get it on there. And it was kind of wrinkling up. So usually they say when you're working with it to spray the back with some water. That will help with the buckling and the wrinkling or the lifting up of the paper. Um, but I have this giant old Webster dictionary that's like from the 1950s. And it's, it's really thick. So I usually put things that need to be flattened out a little more in between the pages. And if it still doesn't flatten out really well, I have some heavy paper weights that I have that I put on the ends. And I may have to do this on, may have to do this on this one later. But today I'm going to grunge this up a little bit more. So like Kelly, she took some inks, I think, and some paint and stuff. And I'm going to use... Um, Golden's Carbon Black, and I'm just going to open it so the high flow, yeah, it's the high flow paint. In fact, i got to shake it a little bit because sometimes it doesn't mix really well. Shake, 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 okay. So, here we go. So, here's the bottle, here's the bottle, okay. So, I'm going to, and I may have to do this. Let's see if I can zoom out with my camera because I might be zoomed in. Okay, I'm at my desk again because it just makes it easier. And yes, I'm still in my grungy nightgown. <laughs> so you may see me with my... So I'm going to take this. Let's see if you guys can see this a little better. Okay, right about there. And I'm going to take some paint, and you're going to see, you're not going to see the very top of the paper, but you're going to see it come down in a minute. There it goes. See it? Ooh, that's cool. And that's why I've got a piece of wax paper on the bottom of my thing so that I don't get it all over the place. But yeah, here we go. That's That turned out really cool. So... That's going to be one side. See how far down it went. Yeah, it went all the way down to the bottom of the paper. Okay, guys, I'm back with part two of my odd girl. I grunged up the background. Now I'm on to the odd girl. Now, I put something on top of this. My art room is a mess right now. Um, anyhow. 
So I must have put something on top of it and it kind of stained here, but that's okay because I'm going to be doing something different with that in a little while. So first off, let's try to get this to focus. Okay, so I'm going to first off, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> I'm, <clears throat> yeah, I'm still under the weather, guys, so you might hear me coughing and sniffling. I'll be right back. I got an itch in my throat. Okay, guys, I'm back. I'm sorry, I had to get a cough drop. I was starting to cough here. Um, so you might be hearing me sucking on a cough drop. Sorry. Um, to avoid me from coughing. Okay, so I have my odd girl here. This is part two, and I um I don't know what I was doing. My my office is a real my art room is a really big mess right now, and I must have put something on top of it, and I got something here, but that's okay because um. I'm going to be doing something with the dress in a little while, but um, it may not be on this video, it may be on the next one. But I'm going to start by erasing some of the lines and going back in and smoothing them out a little bit. As you remember in the first video that I did of this, I traced her from a drawing that I did on a thinner piece of paper and I wanted I wanted it on color, watercolor paper so if you don't remember I used my light box um, to trace so if you haven't seen that video go back and look at it because I've got some good tips when you're too lazy and you don't want to redraw something that you already like oops you can trace it out and then smooth the lines out later or you can even go in and improve some stuff afterwards it's another way of also avoiding having too much too much erasing on your paper so yeah it kind of helps I'm just sitting here for a second trying to figure out what to do next. Okay. So I got these new watercolor pencils. And again, my art enabler is Gina Aarons. She posts on Facebook in Crazy Island Family. Uh, I were all the things she gets. And it's so tempting. And it's like, oh, yeah. So she's she had these got these watercolor pencils recently. I'm not a watercolor person per se, but I'm trying to get out of my box because I like to use acrylics more and I like to use um oil pastels and nail color twos. Um so I find that um yeah, using different I need to start learning how to use the watercolor stuff. So um, I thought I would start on her and see how I do. Try out these new pencils as well. And I have a water, excuse me, I have a water brush right here. So I'm going to use, it doesn't say what color this is, it's kind of a peachy color. So I'm going to speed through this part. Okay, so I've done that. And now I'm going to take my brush. And I'm going to make sure that the water's working first. Sometimes you have to squeeze it first. And I'm going to activate the pen watercolor pencil. I don't know if you can see that it's kind of really um, inked looking. See, I'm not used to watercolors, and the the 
I don't know, the cheaper brands aren't as vibrant. The colors aren't as vibrant. Um, so I kind of have a hard time with the colors because I like to use really bright colors. But too, since she's an odd girl, and I kind of want to make her a little bit dark looking, because um, this is just going to be the first layer I'm doing on her face. Because I'm going to go in with some darker colors here. Um, so this looks like a kind of an ochre type one to go in and shadow some areas. Add some shadow. And you noticed I'm not doing her hair yet because when I glue her down, that's when I'm going to add her hair. And I'm probably going to do her hair in acrylics or I might come up with something else. I'm not sure yet. And I noticed that these pencils do work better on watercolor paper. I was practicing with them on just regular drawing paper and of course you know the drawing paper was buckling. It was a thin drawing paper from like the dollar store and um, it it the watercolors just weren't as good on the paper as they are really aren't so, you know, plus you know they really should be used on watercolor paper but or mixed media paper is good too but yeah And I can fix this too, where, where I don't may not like where I put the shadows. I could probably go in and add some more of the lighter peachy color. But she is an odd girl, so it doesn't really matter how you do the shading, I don't think. Okay. And on my odd girl, I had a flower on her face. So I'm going to probably do the same thing again, is add a flower draw in a flower or I might use one of my punch out flowers. I think I might do that. Noticing that the more I pull out, if I, you know, pull out a little bit with the water, it lightens it up a bit. And I can drag out the rest of the color and blend it in with the peachy color. See that? I hope I didn't get out of the frame. I got too involved in trying to do this that, yeah. Yeah. I guess it, it takes some practice to realize, wait a minute, maybe I'm out of, you know, Okay, so here's the peachy color again. I'm going to add some more on her nose here. I'm going to imagine that her forehead is here because I don't know how much of her hair I'm going to do. So I'm adding some forehead without the line. Oh, and by the way, 
I had um, over the weekend I reached 200 subscribers so I am going to film a vlog I don't do vlogs much anymore because I just don't have the time and there's times where I'm not feeling good and I look like hell <laughs> so um, I'm gonna do a vlog you'll see me face to face <laughs> And um, in the vlog, I'm going to announce my 200 subscribers, and I'm going to do a little giveaway. I've got to fill it, figure out how to set up Rafflecopter, because that's what a lot of, I noticed a lot of YouTubers use um, for, um, for raffles, so um, for giveaways and stuff. So that will be coming up sometime this week, and I also have to figure out what I'm going to give for the giveaway. It might be a piece of art. It could be, you know, some goodies, too, along with it, some art goodies. Um, so, yeah, so um, if you're interested and you want to know, you know, if you, if you want to give me some suggestions regarding the giveaway, please list it, uh, please comment on this video about it. Um, that would be great. That way, um, yeah, I can get some ideas of what I could give away for, two, for my 200, 200 subscribers. Okay, and yeah, that would be a lot of fun. I like giveaways. I won one actually from Marion Smith Designs on Instagram a few months ago. Um, they she was having a giveaway for um, I don't know maybe for followers or something on Instagram. I've done a couple of giveaways too on there. I'm actually up to seven hundred and. 90 now. I'm almost up to 800 followers there. I am just absolutely amazed that they would even be interested in following me, let alone me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I've done a couple of giveaways on there because on Instagram I, I do list a lot of my art and I also occasionally put where I've gone or photographs I've taken. Um, with my cam, with my camera, and sometimes with my iPhone or my iPad. So, yeah. Okay, so she looks pretty good. She is an odd girl. All right, so I'm gonna pause, and I'll be right back because I'm gonna figure out what what I'm gonna put on her face. I may draw it, but also I may just add one of my punched out flowers that I do. Just, I'll be back in a few minutes. Bye. Okay, I'm back. So here is my basket of punched flowers. I use my drop papers for these. Um, when I always have a piece of, I brought this big giant, giant um, pad of Canson drawing paper way back when, when I taught art to kids. That was where I put my, did my big visuals up. And um, uh, so now I'm, um, Gosh, my words aren't coming today. It's frustrating. So what I do is I actually take those two two giant pieces of paper together and I put them on my drafting table and on top of my craft mat. And as I'm working, I'll put extra paint on there. That's like what you see in the background. But also sometimes I'll do stamps on there as well as washi tapes that will, that, you know, I stick to like leftover pieces that I might get in happy mail um, and then when I'm all done when it's all full and I think it's grungy enough then I punch out flowers so I'm gonna look and see what I could use for her flower and she's kind of a grungy girl I might use this one but I'm not sure yet let's see because I may I might put these in her hair but I'm not yeah, because these are too big. So I may end up putting these in her hair. So I'm going to keep these ones out. I found another one I like. So I'm going to take a couple, few out here and we'll see about those. So I'm going to set those aside. And I'm going to start on her eyes and her mouth. And I think I'm going to first do... I got this set of watercolors. Um, Kelly mentioned them on her one of her 
uh, either it was when she was doing her odd girl or in one of her blogs. Um, it's called Yasutomo, Yasutomo and they're Japanese watercolor paints and they're really not expensive at all and they kind of have a shimmery look to them. Look at that. So I thought I would use some of these colors on her face and yeah and see how it goes. And like I said, I'm not a watercolor person uh, normally, so this is going this is going out of my comfort zone because yeah, see, but I suppose I could add more water to thin it out a little. I was going to add a flower there, so. Um, I may have to do it on the other side. So that came up really dark, too dark. Um, I'll mix a little gray in. Can that thin it out a little? Okay, well, I'm going to let it, I'm going to take some. Wrong one. I'm going to come back in with the pencil here and see if I can blend out some of that color because it's a little too dark. I didn't want it that dark. So I'm going to see if by going over it with the pencil, if I could blend it out a little bit. Oh, well, she is an odd girl, so. I don't want it to be ugly, ugly. And I kind of toned it down a little. So you're going to see me make lots of mistakes on this one. Or what I would call not mistakes, but learning experiences. That's what art's all about. There's really no such thing as a mistake, per se, but it's a learning experience. And this is sheer one, because I'm not an art, I'm not a watercolor person. So, yeah. So I may have to go back in and see if I can redo this one here. Well, I'm going to something, because I do not like it. It's too, too dark, and it's looking kind of Okay, should have just left it the way it was. Yeah, now I'm bringing up some of the paper with it, but let's see if I can at least wipe some of this off. And I'm not worried about the background here because I'm going to be cutting her out and adding her to my background. So it's really not going to matter. And I can, I can come back in and do the lines anyways, so it's not going to be a big deal about that either. Okay, I'm going to have to pause right now because my family's home. Okay, guys. Well, I'm back, and I thought that I had my camera going. <sighs> Frustrating when you get your camera started and you, yeah. So anyways, um, I went in with the, these pencils. I'll just explain what I did. I came in with these pencils, and I used a light pinky color to come in and do a little, add a little more color to her face and to her cheeks. And if you remember, I had gone in and used, I think it was this color right here in this watercolor palette. And... Um, it was a little too dark, so you saw me go in with a baby wipe and wipe it off. It's kind of left a little bit of marks on the paper, but that's okay because she's an odd girl, so that kind of gives it a cool effect. And then I went in with a light pink pencil and added some more color to her cheeks. Then I came in with her lips, and I used the pencil 
to add some color and some dimension to her hips, just like this. So I'm just kind of showing you what I did. And then I came in and I took this color right here. And I went over the top lip first. And then I went in and did the bottom lip. And I'll work a little bit more with that later. And this is a really cool um, watercolors. They have, they're very shimmery, very like metallic watercolors, which I've never really seen before in other sets. So this is really cool. And they were actually very reasonably priced. They were probably about $7 or less, I think. And so I thought, wow, that's not a bad price. Got them on Amazon. So not a bad price at all. So anyhow, um, I'm going to work. I'm going to pause for now, and I'll be right back because I'm going to come in and um, get some other get some paint pens now to do her eyes and um, add some touches to her face and then um, I will um, be back. My words aren't coming out today. Sorry about that. So I'll be right back. Okay. I am back. All right. So, um, I learned a really cool tip from Jane Davenport um, for lessons. I have one of her DVDs on, I don't remember the name of the particular DVD, but she, um, it's on faces. And she mentioned these Dynaflow um, inks. They're really meant for fabrics, but she uses them for eyes and her backgrounds and stuff and she puts them in one of these aqua pens um, or aqua brushes is what they're called you can fill them with water but she fills them with the dynaflow inks which i thought was a fantastic idea because you can control it better in these so i filled a couple up with um, the turquoise and a blue ink. I think actually this is an Indian ink, this darker one. And this is a the, the Dynaflow. So I'm going to do her eyes in these colors. So first off, I kind of got to get it a little started here. This one's a different ink um, water brush. I, I don't know where I got it from, but it, it's got a different head on it than the one I was using earlier. So it's a little different. Um, so I'm going to go in and do the colors of her eyes. And I'm going to do on this side. I'll have a little darker blue. And I'm just going to carefully go in there because it is it does leave a lot of a lot of ink on here. So I wouldn't recommend turning on your heat gun if you do that, this, because it could splatter the ink. It could blow the ink if you ruin your, your um, piece. So that has to dry before I can go in and do the pupil of the eye um, and do the whites of her eyes. So while that is drying, I'm going to turn my paper upside down to me, not to you, but to me. I'm going to give my camera a chance to refocus. And I'm going to do her, her eyebrows in a paint pen.
I need a thinner need to paint pen for her nose. I have to turn it back my way so I don't get my arm on the ink that's drying. And I haven't done her hair yet because I'm waiting till I cut her out and go back in and um, cut her out and then I'm going to do finish her hair when I glue her to the back after I glue her to the background. So I'm going to outline her hands. I'm going to wait on outlining the dress because I have something in store for her dress in the next part. So for now, I'm going to outline her mouth. I was almost going to say, and now I'm going to see you later, but to do her lips. So let's see, I had another thing I wanted to use. Okay, I'm back with my pen and I'm getting it started here. So if you hear me banging, da, 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 tap, 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 tap. Okay, let's hope this is dry. Checking. Yeah, okay. That's the, the beauty of the, of the, um, paint pens is that they dry really fast. Okay, and I want that dry too. Well, better not do that because of the ink. Ooh, that wouldn't have been good. Okay. Blowing on it. Do you think that'll help? Except it's moving the ink in that eye. I don't want to move the ink in that eye. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like this for now. And I'll say toodles until next time. Um, have a good day. Listen to some music. It's good for your soul. And I'll see you later. Bye.